struggling with personal power? Wondering where you have to go to get some? Interested in how you can deepen your connection to the divine? I know these are a few questions you've been asking yourself, and you're in the right place. I'm Jacqueline Hopper. I'm a psychic empowerment coach, energy healer, and best-selling author. I help people from all walks of life connect to their spiritual self and support them in expanding their relationship with the universe. I support spiritual entrepreneurs who desire thriving businesses that make the money and impact they wish to make. This podcast combines everything I've learned during my own spiritual journey and my time working with hundreds of clients. It's my love letter to anyone who's yearning to harness the power that they have. Welcome to The Sovereign Soul with Jacqueline Hopper. Hi, everyone. Oh, boy. I am. I'm going to pray that technology holds up for us because with all this energy that we're bringing forth, I have a feeling it might glitch or do something crazy. So let's just set an intention that all of what we're trying to put out here is going to come out flawlessly and without any type of problem. Welcome, friend. I am so excited that you're here. You are my first guest on The Sovereign Soul with Jacqueline Hopper. Oh my gosh. I feel so honored. I feel so special. Thank you for having me. I'm so, so thrilled to be here. And oh my gosh, your podcast. There's absolutely no one else that I would even possibly consider to be the first guest. Thank you. I'm so stoked. You and I, we have this thing between you and I as best friends that sometimes we have to remember that we're trying to do something in a business sense. And we're supposed to press record when we start talking about these awesome, amazing, <laughs> wonderful topics. And so we caught ourselves before. We're like, wait a minute, stop. This is so good. Let's just press record and carry the conversation we were having over into mm-hmm. something that we can share with the world. Cause that's what this is going to do. So this is going to yes. the world. It's going to be so big. It's going to be so amazing. And people are going to want to hear it over and over and over again. So I'm so excited to bring the conversation that we started here. Um, And no matter where you are all tuning in from, whether you're over on YouTube or whether you're on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or iTunes, this is definitely going to be an episode you're going to want to save. You're going to want to make sure you keep close at hand because it's going to be something I think we're going to cover a lot of things. There's going to be a lot of aha moments. Um, And so I'm super excited. I think I want to to start with. (laughs) introducing you. I mean, like, why not? Let's introduce you to everyone. Tell <laughs> us about you. you. Sounds good. Hello, everyone. My name is Christina Aroche, and I am the Archangel Channel. I am a spiritual teacher, a mentor, and a healer. And what I do is I guide people on their journey of spiritual growth and awakening and helping them to align with their highest potential, their greatest potential. And the way that I do that is by supporting you in your connection with the angels, with the divine, helping you to understand how you can utilize this energy, this connection that's all around us to support you on your journey, to support you with healing, to support you with understanding who you are, your purpose, your truth, all of those things and guiding you forward. And so I'm best known for channeling the archangels, um, and helping people to deepen their connection with the angelic realms. Yeah. And there is so, so very much about the angelic realm that people are so still, like there'll always be right. It's always expansion. There's always an occurrence of sorts that are happening. And there's just so much that the angels have to share with us, to teach us, to show us. Mm -hmm. Um, and so this is going to be so good, especially, around the topic of gratitude. Mm, So good. I love that so much. And can I just share with you right now that I feel Archangel Gabriel coming forward so strong. Like there's Mm -hmm. a whole bunch of angels, but I see Archangel Gabriel as being one of the main ones who's actually coming forward right now to support this energy, to support this topic, this conversation. So I'm really excited to get into all the things. Yes. Archangel Gabriel is an amazing angel that, you know, I call upon Anytime that I'm not receiving a message, I think I'm supposed to be receiving, right? Like when I'm like, yes. I have a feeling we're having an issue here. <laughs> My connection <laughs> with the divine, are you ignoring me? We put Archangel Gabriel on it because he's the angel that really, you know, one of his positions is the communication and receiving yep. like the messages here on earth that we're supposed to receive, making mm-hmm. sure we get the signs, get the understanding that we grab that nudge and that we take it forward 
to, you know, the clarity that we need and the guidance mm-hmm. that we need. So I love that Archangel Gabriel's here. I'm not surprised. I'm yeah. surprised. It's hard to single Absolutely. any one of them out when I look at your energy because there's like, you, they, they swarm you. And then it's like, is there a Christina Aroche <laughs> in the middle of all that awesomeness? Like, can you send her out? Oh my God. <laughs> I, wanna talk to I her. love that. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, you guys, they're like my bodyguards. No, I'm just kidding. But um, they really, I mean, even it, when it they does... come forward, yeah, yeah, I'm like, oh, Gabriel. Oh, wait, Raphael. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Like, they all just kind of come in and it's like, yeah, it's, it's so amazing. And one of the things that I just want to say is that it's not just, you know, me or whatever, it's everybody can have this kind of connection and be able to tune into them and, and, um, call on them to support them in whatever it is that they're going through. And I feel like, especially with this topic of gratitude and understanding, like having this deeper awareness and understanding of how gratitude, gratitude can support us, how that energy moves through us, how it elevates us and supports us in on this journey as a whole and calling on the angels to support us with that whole process is magical it's absolutely magical it really is because you know people know having listened to you or perhaps listening to this podcast for the first few episodes we dove into how gratitude is the key to manifestation Mm -hmm. And the truth about this journey is that you're a co-creative being and you co-create with the universe. It isn't just source or God Mm -hmm. or goddess or, you know, the divine, whichever, however you want to term it. The universe is filled with the guides. It's filled with the angels. It's filled with all of the, you know, um, content information, you know, um, energies that are meant to support us in the co-creative process. And the angels want nothing more than for us to receive what we want from that heart centered space, Mm -hmm. want nothing more for us than to have it and to live it and to be it, to receive it. And I think, you know, I've always found, and I'm sure you do too, but I've always found the angels to have a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, (laughs) um, there's certain ones that I find more humorous than others, but you know, I've always found them to have that sense of humor and they get very giddy and they get very excited and it's very Mm -hmm. strong, their energy and their presence when we finally get a clicking or a light bulb or the aha or the holy cow, I guess, you know, they're there and they want nothing more than for us to have that experience because they then have somewhat somewhat Mm -hmm. of an experience with us Mm -hmm. and that that's like that divine bittersweet moment for them I'm sure because they they aren't physical like we are but they're still having a bit of a moment through Mm -hmm. our experience yep and yeah one of the things finally she got it (laughs) Oh, I know. Finally clicked in. Nobody wants a visual to what my angels look like because it's kind of like a, oh my God, we're going to pull our hair out. We can't do that though. You don't do that. You can't do that. But I think that my, and my angels more than most often than not, they're like, oh my gosh, I got to rethink what I do here because she's a pain in my butt. Um, but I also think that the energy of gratitude more so if we can like kind of give it a visual, like a visualization, the, the color of it, the vibrational p- uh, pattern of it, the mm. angels are so linked into that vibration that we connect mm. much deeper to them mm-hmm. and to the universe, to our guides, to all the support and assistance. When we can get ourselves nestled into that pattern Mm -hmm. we're calling it we're labeling it gratitude we've also talked about like states of appreciation Mm -hmm. and when we can find ourselves there and we can chit chat about like all the different ways we guide clients to do it um Mm -hmm. for the purposes of you know giving value here to those that are listening but when we can find ourselves there the synchronicities are quicker the signs are quicker everything is happening lightning speed yes I love that so much. And I love how you related it to that frequency, to that energy. It's so true. And, you know, when you said that, the first thing that came into my mind was just this like beautiful, like pink glowing energy. Like it reminded me of like a rose quartz crystal, like just this beautiful pink, like so much love, Mm -hmm. so much, so much of that just pure love energy. You know what I mean? And that's exactly what the angels bring forward. And that's exactly, you know, when we can lean in or and call on their help call on their support they help it's like their frequency their energy 
it, it, it's almost like it transfers to us. You know what I mean? It's almost like it influences our energy. So if we're having a hard time or if we're just like in a hard place and we're like, what do I do? You know, or whatever, just feeling really down calling on the angels. It helps to help to elevate your frequency in that way. And then it, as you, as you shift that frequency, then there's like a snowball effect of how things start to shift within your energy. You know what I mean? And that, I think that's so powerful. Totally. And I think it's something that, you know, the clients come to us and are kind of, they're like, I think they're taken back when it's the first thing we dive into, because it's, Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people struggle with the idea that they can't be grateful or that they don't have the gratitude bone within them to find. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like they struggle with it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And I've actually had that experience, you know, where someone asked me, you know, what do I do if in the moment, like, if you think about the practice of like gratitude journaling, right. Where it's like, okay, I'm going to sit down and I journal around what I'm grateful for, or just think about what I'm grateful for. And sometimes we can just be in a place within our mind, within our energy, where that feels hard. And it feels like you're forcing gratitude where you're not truly like, feeling it you're just like well I'm just gonna say that I'm grateful even though I'm not really feeling it you know what I mean and then there's there's where the disconnect happens because to me gratitude is a feeling from within like I just feel great like I just feel it and it feels so good and you know but then there are moments and I've experienced this also myself where it's like ah like I can't tap into that feeling right now like this feels really hard and even if I sit down with my journal and try to journal gratitude, I feel like I'm faking it or something because whatever, my energy is just not there. And so what I said to this person, to my client, I said, in that moment, in that specific moment, I said, release that feeling of needing to be perfect in gratitude, meaning I'll give yourself the grace, give yourself the permission to not have to feel gratitude in that moment. And to allow the gratitude to naturally come into your life in your day-to-day life, meaning that, okay, I don't have to sit down and like force myself to write gratitude in my journal. I can just allow myself to be, and to know that even though in this moment, I may have a hard time with accessing that feeling, that energy, but it's okay. It's Mm -hmm. okay. You're not going to ruin anything. You're not going to mess up anything. It's okay to not be perfect it's okay in this moment to not feel gratitude because the energy of gratitude will always show up as long as you are present and just allow yourself to live in your day-to-day life. And that's what I said to this person. And, you know, and I was just like, that's, that's how I live my life. You know, it's like, yeah, you have to allow yourself to recognize that it's not about like, life isn't something that's always going to be, I'm grateful, I'm grateful every single second, every single moment, because we're humans, you know, right. we're humans, we experience a whole range of emotions. And so it's, it's knowing how, you know, it's the same thing. If someone's angry, so you can't just be like, it's okay, just be happy right now. You know what I mean? Like your mm-hmm. anger isn't just going to shift into joy in that moment. So it's understanding that you, you, the, the feeling will naturally come back to you. If you allow yourself to process whatever you're going through in that moment. hundred percent. I love how you guided your client. I love how you guided your client. And I, I would do the same. I honestly would feel very guided to do the same in the, in the last episode, we were talking about like the inner being and Mm -hmm. part of the inner being, the, the, the essence of the inner being is an energy of love, mm. of gratitude. Like that inner being is what is the universe mm-hmm. within you. The universe within you is considered the inner being. It's also mm-hmm. considered the higher self. But assuming that some are going to be listening to this for the first time ever and like, wow, who is this crazy person? Let's let's give her a second. <laughs> I hope you've stayed this long. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but when we look at the inner being and we're when we're trying to navigate back towards the inner being, that mm-hmm. is also where you know, like you said, surrendering, the, the energy starts to kind of build again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Helping the angels come in to help us. Like, it's like, surrender it to me. Oh, you're wanting to, 
you know, connect with an energy of gratitude, I can support you with that. I can amplify our guides will do it. The universe will do it. Our deceased and departed loved ones will do it. The angels will do it. They will, they will, you know, uh, magnify things. They will intensify the things that you uniquely beautiful individual you will find appreciation in. And yeah. when they come in and stuff, like they will support you in doing it. You don't have to do that by yourself. So people hear it all the time. Like you're not alone. Like you're, you're a speck in the universe and there's just so much that's around you. Stuff you can see in the physical world, stuff you can't see. You're never, ever, ever alone. Well, you're never alone when you're attempting to tap into these higher frequencies. These higher frequencies, you know, you and I educate all the time. It is, like you said, not an every moment experience to experience these, these frequencies, because we are human. We do have an ego and we deal Mm -hmm. with contrast and duality all the time. That's a for sure thing. The game or the purpose to this life's experience is not just to create, but it's also to remember that all of this is kind of an illusion as some will put it, or, um, to meant to support us in learning a big lessons. And so when someone's struggling with gratitude, essentially, I'm more caught up in the physical world and less connected to the inner being, the universe, the source within me that has the potential to remind me of something or show me something or just give me that spark I'm looking for. You want to go inward. And so I think a lot of people focus on the external when they do the gratitude journal. Some people can get on with that and it helps support them perfectly. But others, they do let their ego get in there and try and perfectionist it. You know what Mm -hmm. I mean? Yes. I'm so grateful for my kids when you know damn well they just spilled the whole thing of orange juice all over the kitchen floor and you were not grateful in that moment. Do not lie. <laughs> like, the universe is going to be like, yeah, okay, girl. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. It's hard to you know, feel grateful for them in that moment when you're yeah. frustrated about the thing that just happened. Yes. And yes, you know what? Absolutely. It's okay. It's okay yes. to be frustrated. Yeah. I think that, you know, I, I'm going to do a topic all on permission, like permission slips and giving self permission to be self because we mm-hmm. just don't do that. We just don't do that. And then we get frustrated with the process. And then we get frustrated because we're frustrated with the process when it's very, very, very easy and simple. We just don't make it that way. And the angels will always come in and say, surrender this, you know, surrender this. Mm-hmm. You're trying to tap in the wrong way or in the mm-hmm. moment, not the ideal way for you. So let's just walk away from this. Why don't you go out for a walk? Why don't you go out and take a drive? Like, why don't you remember the things that help you connect to your inner being, which is what we talked Mm -hmm. about in episode three, ways to connect to the inner being, ways to immediately get back into the energy. Um, Let's go do those things. And then you'll be led towards more stuff to be grateful for. Yes, I love that so much. And I also just want to share since, you know, we're bringing the energy of the angels in too, just to give people some um, kind of tips on how you can call them in, because that's a question that I commonly get, like, how do I call on them? Or how do I invite them in? What if I don't hear anything like I call on them, but I don't hear any guidance? Like, what do I do? You know what I mean? So the thing with the angels to understand is that they hear you, they receive your, your ask, they receive every, anything that you say to them right away, it's received right away, even if you don't get any sort of quote unquote confirmation or anything like that, you know, they will always receive from you immediately. And so the thing is that also when you're calling on their support, there's no specific, like you have to do it in a specific way, or this, this is the formula or whatever. It's really just a casual thing. Like you would with talk to anybody else, you know? So it would just be like, for example, you know, in this, with what we're talking about, I would say, you know, Archangel Gabriel or Archangel Raphael, or if you don't have a specific one that you know, or that you want to connect to, you can just say angels in general or archangels in general. I'm really having a really hard time right now connecting with gratitude. I'm feeling really frustrated. I'm feeling this, I'm feeling that. Please help me, show me how to shift this. Help me to lean into more of the energy of gratitude. Help me to connect with my inner being. Help me to blah, 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 whatever, whatever you want to say. And then you just release them, let it go. There's nothing that you have to do immediately after that. You don't have to sit and wait to receive anything because you may or may not. And, and if you don't, I don't want you to get frustrated about that. It's just about, okay, I, I release that to the angels. I release it to the universe. 
And I'm just going to sit here and just allow myself to continue on with my day. But also you now have opened up your awareness to the little intuitive nudges that say to you, I'm going to go out for a walk, or I'm going to go out for a drive, or I'm going to do this, or I'm going to just, you know, whatever, whatever it may be. And it opens up your awareness to the higher frequencies, to the energy. And that's how you start to begin to um, shift your energy to connect more deeply and raise your vibration essentially, you know, Mm -hmm. and, and that's how we can integrate the energy of the angel into our day-to-day life where it doesn't feel like something that's, you know, I have to have that special ritual in the morning or at night or whatever. You can just simply be going about your day, have that moment with yourself of asking the angels for support and then keep going with your day. You know what I mean? Nothing extra, nothing special has to happen for their support and for the energy to come in. Because like I said, they come in instantly, instantly. And it's beautiful. It is so beautiful. In fact, I'm inspired more than likely from your, from your angels, (laughs) but I'm inspired. I, I want to, I have, I know you've had immense contact with these, um, with these beautiful, beautiful beings. And I have also had some experiences uh, mm-hmm. connecting specifically to the angels. My guides, it's it's a different vibration, different fi- feel, a different imagery. Mm-hmm. Even, but I have, um, particularly in a beautiful mastermind that I am in um, taking part in, um, we did a meditation to connect to a specific angel that was supposed to show us some mm-hmm. things. We weren't given it a label. And that's something mm-hmm. I want to throw out here, friends. When you're connecting to the universe, whether it's the angels, the guides, um, the universe itself, you don't want to have an expectation because mm-hmm. you're you're restricting the flow of this beautiful energy to take you with it towards whatever it wants you to see or feel or be or do or what, you know, whatnot. Mm-hmm. And so I feel inspired to share with them what it feels like, what it could potentially feel or look like to connect to the angels to an angel Mm, people hear it all the time you know I know you know people hear it all the time you know I was about to get in a car accident and like all of a sudden this beautiful light showed up and everything was fine or I had some trauma and I remember seeing you know Mm -hmm. a guardian angel come over me or I heard my guardian angel come over me you know people really have these stories that they connect to and that they believe in but for someone yeah. who hasn't maybe had an awareness that they've connected to the angel or an angel has come forth to support them, I'd love, love, love to share your um, one of your amazing experiences. I'm mm-hmm. certainly excited to share mine. Um, I had happened to uh, connect with uh, Sophia. Now, I mm. don't know. I want to know from you. I've seen the energy of Sophia in a goddess. Mm-hmm. I've seen the energy of Sophia also in an angelic way. Does that resonate with you? It does. It does. Yes. It almost feels like in, as we're talking right now, I hear both. Like I, it, it feels like both. It feels mm-hmm. like both energies. And, you know, I'm not surprised given how the universe is, you know, not in the, not in the business of restricting ourselves into boxes, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of mm-hmm. like, why not both? Why not yeah. both energies? And it really feels, you know, and especially through just through my experience in um, doing this work, it's like there are certain energies, certain frequencies where the vibration and the energy is very similar, you know, or that these energies work together or whatever it may be. And so it, totally resonates completely that Sophia would present herself in this energy of both goddess and angel and or and or both and And or or. yes it's so good and and when she came forth it was this beautiful um baby blue you know I'm Mm -hmm. used to seeing Zeta in the blue that I wear you know for those Mm -hmm. on YouTube this beautiful sapphire this is Zeta but this was this very light and airy Mm -hmm. blue and white light and her face gorgeous and she came forth and she just said I am Sophia and what she did you know there were questions being asked like I had my whole itinerary for what we were going to do um (laughs) so what I just told you all not to do I was doing myself (laughs) I want you to show me all of this Um, (laughs) but what she did and as I surrendered to just kind of be at her will she showed me 
the, the, the energy of appreciation through the massive expansion mm. that I, but I know that we can come into when we surrender and allow the universe to be the leader. Mm. And that, that was huge. It was definitely, as you know, your best friend in and out left and right. My biggest thing is like letting go, mm-hmm. control, and letting the universe lead. So it's very much a reminder for me, validation and confirmation that, you know, and Sophia represents divine wisdom. I mean, she's mm-hmm. also looked at um, as the feminine aspect of source. Is she not? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so like, yep. this was like, wow, profound and had really nothing to do with me, but had everything to do with me and the grandness yes. and the bigness. And it was just interconnection, all the things. It was just so, and it was very warm. Mm, I, I love that. Super warm, like everywhere, just warm. Mm-hmm. Warm that's associated with feeling a massive amount of love, a massive amount of presence, a massive amount of just safety and security. It was a beautiful experience. That sounds incredible. I love yeah. that so much. Oh my gosh. Um, you know, for me personally, I, what comes to mind that I want to share is one of my first experiences with the angels, uh, when I was first kind of just getting familiar with them, I, it was, you know, a long time ago when I was just kind of getting started on this journey of really connecting with energy and spirit and understanding that there were archangels and these divine angelic beings that support us. And I had been doing a guided meditation, guided journey with my mentor at that time. And um, in that guided meditation, we connected with Archangel Raphael. And that was the first time that I had met Archangel Raphael. And I remember in that moment, like he came forward in this bright light. It was like, I saw his dream, but in front of him was, it, it was like almost this bright, flashlight it was this just beautiful light and that light connected with my heart and I had never experienced anything like that I was like what what who are these beings who are these angels I never even knew never even had this awareness but that I felt so powerfully then Mm. later that day maybe it was the next day I was laying in bed I was about to go to sleep and I thought to myself I'm just going to try and connect with Archangel Raphael again and just see what happens because that was so amazing. And I had no idea what I was doing, but I was just like, I'm just going to call on him and see what happens. And I had my eyes closed and immediately it was like, with that intention of calling on Archangel Raphael, I felt like the whole entire room was green. And that blew my mind because I was like, wait, what, what is happening? And so this was happening, you know, within my awareness, like my mind's eye, my feeling and my intuition, feeling like the room was green and that his green energy was there. And I, I had no words. I was just like, oh my gosh, like this is real. <laughs> this mm-hmm. is real. <laughs> you know, this is real. Um, and then from there, things just continue to connect. But I feel, you know, one of the things that I do also know is that everyone's experience with the angels is so different and with spirit guides too, you know, any of these divine beings, um, the experience of how we first connect with them or become aware of them. It's so unique. And it's like you said at the beginning, you know, releasing expectations and just allowing it to be, but also trusting in what you experience and knowing that what you experience is real. You know, and I think it's very helpful to be, be, be a part of these types of communities, listening to podcasts like this, being inside Facebook, Facebook groups or Instagram or whatever, whatever it is, wherever it is that you like to hang out, but knowing that there's other people out there who experience what you experience, even if their experience is a little bit different, but knowing that there are other people who experience this, who get it, and that you can talk to and connect with to be part of that and continue your expansion. You know what I mean? I feel like when we're connected to other people who are walking the same path, it really supports our expansion because yeah, some of these experiences are mind blowing and out of this world. And you're like, 
uh, was that even real, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know? But when you can talk about it openly and share about it or hear other people's experiences, it normalizes yours and it helps you to really connect with it and say, yeah, this is what I experienced. And then that opens up, that opens up the energy for more experiences to come in. I feel like, yeah. you know, it totally does. And I love what you said, cause you're so spot on as you always are. It is not about comparison. <laughs> it, we cannot compare the yes. connections that we develop because they are so meant to be unique. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, um, I really don't even have anything that I can give an example to relate it to, but you know, we learn differently. We yeah. all have a unique way of learning. And I think it's one of the greatest, um, most beautiful things, but greatest challenges that our teachers face with our children, because they want to mm -hmm. impact the lives of each one of their students, but each one of their students picks things up differently, looks at things differently, are intrigued by different things, you know, like one thing, don't like the next thing. And so because we're so unique and because we learn so, so different, we really need to embrace that. It's not going to look mm -hmm. the same. It's not supposed to look the same. So right. when we drop the need to even try and compare, we are at such a better advantage point, such a better vantage point, because then we allow the universe to just have this language, this dialogue with us. That's the most special and most unique. Um, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it is sacred. Absolutely. It's a sacred language that isn't meant to be understood by me or isn't meant to be understood by you, but that's mm -hmm. meant to guide us individually and connect us to the universe in our own unique way so that we can thrive here, so that we can be as abundant as we and prosperous as we intend to be here. You know, and yep. it's about, it's about exp um, spreading these lessons through these conversations, like you said, but also, you know, giving ourselves permission and time to step away from all of that, to practice it for ourselves within our own, our own yes. environments. Yes. And I feel like this circles back so perfectly to the inner being, right. Mm -hmm. And connecting to the inner being and understanding that your connection with your inner being, your relationship, so to speak, that you have with it is going to be unique to you. But that is the most important relationship for you to be nurturing and, and to be working with and understanding. Because I feel that as we practice our connection with our inner being, not only do we get to have this kind of like hotline to our intuition to the higher frequencies of gratitude and love and all of these things, but also it supports us on our journey of moving forward and brings in the sense of, you know, trust and confidence in ourselves so that when we do have these other types of experiences with the angels, with our gods or with the universe and whatever it is, we feel certain in ourselves. You know what I mean? We don't question ourselves as much normal to question ourselves but we don't question ourselves as much <laughs> you know um and and it really helps just support the overall journey and path when we understand that this connection this relationship is as unique as each of us are individually you know like we all look different yep. we all have a unique fingerprint and so our relationship with the divine, our relationship with our inner being, our relationship with the universe as a whole is going to be unique as well. And it's not going to look the same as mm -hmm. your relationship, as my relationship, as anyone else's. Yeah. And it shouldn't, just like you said. Yeah. And that's and the I beauty of it. You, it's beautiful. And I love that you use the fingerprint because that's exactly what I was trying to get them to tell me. <laughs> like there's got to be something that no one else has about this. But you're so yeah. right. It's just like the fingerprint. And you know, this is how we, as we give ourselves permission to accept these things as our new truths, that I don't have mm -hmm. to compare, that I don't have to try hard, that I don't have to find worthiness to be able to connect to the angels. What? Right. What? Yes. That's, no, no. The angels are like, what? That makes yes. no sense to the angels. They're like, girl, you've been worthy, been worthy since you came out the shoe. You're good. You're good. Yep. You're good. You've yep. been vetted. You know what I mean? Like you're fine. But yep. as we are, are breathing in this, we're breathing this in and enlightening our energy. And as we lighten up our energy, we come into a higher frequency. As we come into mm -hmm. a higher frequency, or as we, in this sense, another way of saying it, connect deeper to our inner being, 
we then experience the tranquil, warm, peaceful energy of gratitude. And we are automatically reconnected. Like it's like the angels will lovingly just put you back into what is already mm-hmm. you. Yeah. Like the inner being is nothing but love. It's nothing but energy of appreciation and gratitude. Mm-hmm. It is so beyond anything that the ego can try and attempt it to, 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 to be right. And so as soon as we're like, whoa, I'm way, I'm caught up in the physical side of things. I want to teeter back to 50, mm-hmm. 50, maybe even a little bit more over here on the spiritual side. And as I do that, I naturally come back into alignment with the energy of gratitude. And then yes. we pick our pen back up again. And we're like, I just had the most amazing experience and here I am grateful for it. And like, that's how yes. we ease our way to it. Oh, I love that so much. That <sighs> is exactly, exactly yes. it. That's oh so my good. gosh. So, I have so loved this conversation with you, like beyond loved. I can't wait to have oh many, many, gosh. many, 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 many more as we explore all things um, throughout this beautiful podcast. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thank so you can so I put much. you on the spot before I let you go? Put me on the spot. Give me your definition of a sovereign soul. Oh, you really putting me on the spot, girl. <laughs> mm. um, oh, that's a really good question. So my definition of a sovereign soul is someone who feels comfortable in who they are. It's someone who feels deep self-acceptance and love for who they are. Mm. It's someone who through that love and through that self-acceptance is able to share their truth, speak their truth, be in their truth without the fear of judgment, without the fear of whatever kind of fear that may be holding us back from being our true selves. The sovereign soul is someone who shines in their light and allows that light to shine, doesn't want to dim their light. So I that's what comes through. Thank you. (laughs) This is the hazards of being my first guest. (laughs) You knew that when you signed up. I knew it. I signed up. Yep. Yeah, I check the boxes. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> things come with it, I'm I'm in. Whatever it may be, <laughs> and a reluctant signature at the bottom. No, yes. <laughs> we're just kidding. Thank you so much for joining me, my friends. You can find out all things Christina Aroche in the I don't know what you call it in the in the link below, in the information below the podcast, in the information below the description video. below description like we're just gonna throw it out there trust me (laughs) if you found us this way you're gonna know all about christina roche just scroll Um, somewhere and you'll find the information just keep scrolling scroll this way scroll up and down it'll be there somewhere (laughs) it'll be there for you to see so that you can connect with her anytime you need a dose of angelic support she's there to help you in all ways okay make sure that you're commenting and letting us know what you thought about this episode and make sure you're following us on all the spaces and all the places for more loving awesome funny conversations between the two of us thank you thank you thank you thank you this was amazing and I love you and thank you I love you too we'll talk soon